Hi, hello, welcome back to Nursing Guru. Today I'm going to talk about urinary system or excretory system. We know that it is very important for all the healthcare professional who are going to study the anatomy. The human excretory system encompasses all the organs involved in the removal of waste produced by the body during hemostasis such as salt, carbon dioxide and urea. The urinary system consists of kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder and urethra. Urine is produced in the kidneys as an ultrafiltration of the blood. It then passes through the ureters to the urinary bladder where it is stored and ready to be empty through the urethra. The kidneys are the primary excretory organ. Other organs are sweat glands, liver and lungs also functions as the excretory organs. The renal or otherwise excretory system includes the following organs that are two kidneys, renal pelvis, two ureters and bladder urethra. Alright, now I am going to talk detail about the kidneys. The kidneys are a solid bean shaped organ located below the ribs of the posterior abdominal wall. The right kidney is positioned slightly lower than the left each of which is about 11 cm long, 6 cm wide and 3 cm thick. The average weight is 150 gram in males and 135 gram in females. Each kidney has a lateral convex and medial concave border. Then now we can just check about the cross features of kidney. Each bean shaped kidney presents the following features. Alright, there are two poles. The first is upper pole that is broad and the lower pole is pointed. Two borders that are lateral and medial. Lateral is convex and the medial is concave. Then regarding the surface, it has two surfaces. Anterior is convex and the posterior is flat. Then next, now we can discuss regarding the hilum. Each kidney has a thick lips of renal material termed as hilum which is surrounded its medial concave border. Now, I am going to talk about the functions of kidneys. First is remove the waste products and the drugs from the body. Next, balance the body's fluids. Another one, release hormones to regulate the blood pressure and control production of red blood cells. Now it's the time to check about the renal structure, cortex. The outer region is dark brown in color. The cortex penetrates into the medulla between two pyramids. Medullary rays are striations that extend to the cortex from the base of the renal pyramids. Medulla. The inner region is light brown area deep to the cortex and the medulla is made up of around a dozen renal pyramids each of which has the renal papilla protruding medially at the peak and its base facing to the cortex. Now I am going to talk about the blood supply. Blood is supplied by the renal arteries arising from the iota at the level of the second lumbar vertebrae. Renal artery divides into posterior and anterior segmental artery, lobar artery, interlobar artery and articulate artery. Then about the lymph drainage. Lymph drains into the lateral aortic lymph nodes around the region of the renal artery. Regarding the nerve supply, nerve supplies through the renal sympathetic plexus. Next, the afferent fibers that travel through the renal plexus enter into the spinal cord in the 10th, 11th or the 12th thoracic nerve. Alright, this is about the kidney. Now we can discuss regarding the ureter. The ureters are two muscular tubes that runs from the kidneys to the urinary bladder surface. Each ureter is about 6 mm in diameter and around 25 cm long. The extended upper end of the ureter that has a funnel like structure called the renal pelvis. It lies within the hilum of the kidney and receives the major calyces. The ureter emerges from the hilum of the kidney and travels over the psoriasis major muscles and running vertically downward beneath the parietal peritoneum. Relations in abdominal part of the ureter. 
in the right ureter anteriorly duodenum terminal part of ileum right testicular or ovarian vessel the right common iliac artery left ureter anteriorly sigmoid colon mesocolon left testicular or ovarian vessels posteriorly left cerebral major muscle and the left common iliac artery regarding the blood supply in the upper end right artery in the middle part testicular or ovarian artery in the pelvic part it is supplied by the superior vesical artery uterine and the middle rectal arteries veins venous blood drain into the vein and it corresponds to the arteries all right this is regarding the ureter let's study about urinary bladder the urinary bladder is situated immediately behind the pubic bones within the pelvis the empty bladder is 5 to 7.5 cm long while the full bladder is about 12.5 cm long and it hold about 500 ml of urine but it is capable for holding more than twice that amount It is a smooth collapsible muscular sac that stores urine temporarily. The empty bladder is a pyramidal having apex, base, neck, superior surface and two inferior surfaces. Regarding the blood supply, the superior and the inferior vesicles arteries branch of internal iliac artery. The veins from the vesical venous plexus and drain into the internal iliac lymph it drains into the internal and external iliac nodes regarding the urethra male urethra the male urethra is about 20 cm or 8 inches long and extended from the neck of the bladder of the external meatus to the glans penis it is divided into three parts that are prostatic urethra membranous urethra and penile urethra now we can just look about the female urethra The female urethra is about 1.5 inches means approximately 4 cm long. It extends from the neck of the bladder to the external meatus where it is opens into the vestibule about 1 inch below the clitoris and lies in front of the vagina. All right I hope it is clear now we can just think about the applied anatomy. Urinary catheterization is a common procedure in which a tube is passed through the urethra into the urinary bladder to drain the urine. As the male has a long urethra, catheterization is difficult as compared to the female. Order of structures at the hilum of kidney is renal vein, renal artery and the pelvis of ureter from backward to forward. Next is kidney is kept in the position of intra abdominal pressure para renal fat renal fossa peri renal fat and the renal capsule another one is ureter shows a three constrictions that are these are at the pelvic ureteric junction at the brim of the pelvis and ureteral vesical junction inflammation of the bladder is known as cystitis and is more common in females Most of the renal stones are radio opaque while most of the gall stones are non radio opaque. Most fixed part of the urinary bladder is the neck of the bladder. Bladder catheterization is easier to the females compared to the male due to the short urethra. Widest part of the male urethra is known as prostatic part. The bladder can be catheterized either through the urethra or via abdomen when the bladder is distended. So far we are discussed regarding the excretory system or renal system. I hope it is clear for everyone. If you have any doubt don't forget to write it in the comment box. For getting more nursing related notes download nursing guru application from the Google Play Store.